Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Susan Chandler from Massey Cancer Center's Integrative Health Program. We're counting down the days and not for the holidays, but for the opening of our new ambulatory outpatient facility, better known as the AOP. Massey is going to be moving into this beautiful new facility with all kinds of advanced features, including great parking, whether you want to self park or valet park. And here to talk to us today about this and really get us excited is Katie Barnes. Katie, thank you for being here. Katie is the vice president of Massey's Oncology Service Lines. And so Katie, I know you're so excited. You've been working night and day to facilitate this. So tell us all about it. Absolutely. Happy to. And thank you so much, Susan, for having me today. Um, so we are, yes, 26 days away and counting. There is a, um, I have a little clock um, that reminds me 24-7 exactly where we stand for this. Um, so it's a very exciting for in all of Richmond to see this. Um, so very excited um, for people to know more about it, to see it. Um, I've been told numerous times that this has been decades in the making for our oncology patients um, around the region, around Richmond, here in our community. Um, so very excited to provide an update of what it looks like, the important things, what it looks like, how to get there, what to expect, the new technologies, um, and things that are, you know, coming out of what I will lovingly call, for, especially for radiation oncology, coming out of the basement and physically being uh, able to be seen. Um, so happy to provide an update, um, just kind of what it looks like for the entire building. To know that this entire building um, in total is about 17 stories high um, and is an entire city block wide uh, length and width. Um, it is over 500 thousand square feet. So it is very large. Um, there is lots of space for everything. And you can kind of see, especially for our Massey Cancer Center um, space of it, which is the ground floor all the way up to the sixth floor. Um, the lot great features that our oncology patients will have their own elevator. So we don't need to worry about going to the above floors or people that are going to be um, going to the above floors and kind of taking longer to get places specific Massey floor elevators, specific Massey cancer patient parking entrance, all free parking. There's 1,109 parking spaces. So the day that we open, we double the parking for VCU Health in one day by opening. So this is an amazing feature um, to have this. And as you see, you can self-park, come down through the elevators, come right in our main lobby area, which is Beautiful. We have um, in some parts 16 and 18 foot ceilings that are just wide, spacious and opening. We have a cafe that will be serving um, sandwiches, soups, paninis, coffees, teas, drinks, um, so that grab a quick bite um, as you as you need to um, and, and just go up to your elevator to your appointments right on the floor. Um, we also still have valet. Um, which is there as you come through the uh, parking um, right off the 10th street. So very easy, accessible um, to get there. And as you can see, we are, the second floor will have radiation oncology. Um, our third floor will be for future growth. So we planned ahead of time so that we are ready for as we need to continue to expand. And our fourth floor is all of our oncology clinics. So from medical oncology to surgical oncology, to gynecological oncology, all of those clinics will be on that fourth floor as well, as well as our lab services, um, which I have to give kudos to our lab and pharmacy. Those spaces that they have will allow for a much greater opportunity to turn around um, everything back to our patients. And then on our fifth floor, all of the infusion spaces for all of our oncology patients. We have beautiful, bright, um, spaces for all of our patients with glass surrounding our entire building. So great light is coming in. We also will have private rooms for those patients that request that for additional privacy as well. Um, and then our sixth floor with our women's health and breast imaging, 
um, again, allows for private rooms, private fitting and changing rooms straight into their exam rooms. So no woman has to feel they have to walk out um, and have, um, have people see themselves robed up before their examinations. Um, and kind of an update in regards to our schedule, as I said, we are um, 25 away from them. And so we are finishing up construction um, as we speak and construction meeting outside as well, our street, making sure our sidewalks are ready to go to inside um, and making sure that every, the paint has been finished, the trim is um, done, every item on the punch list is completed. So all those things are happening in the next 25 days, including all the furniture installed, all the artwork installed, which I will say the artwork has been commissioned um, by local uh, Richmond artists in the Richmond area and, and regionally um, and picked out by a committee um, to really focus on our theme of river and hope and healing. And I really do uh, think that everyone will appreciate and agree that it really is a calming environment, um, really relaxing, really focused on the patient's um, kind of that, that journey of cancer journey, uh, survivorship and healing. Um, again, some of our, our things that we're working on right now are some additional conference room and conference room spaces and touchdown spaces um, and furniture install. And I will say that is probably going to be up into the wire, but as most um, installs, they always wait for those last minute details at the end. And here are some great um, photos to share with you all. I like to just kind of blow it up a little bit or zoom in. Um, and you can see this yellow part right here um, where it's kind of um, on the outside, that's where all the parking garage is. Um, and so it's five levels of parking garage and you can see where it has the VCU Massey Sunburst logo on the side. Everything down from there, that's where our Massey Cancer Center is located. You can see we run the length of the entire um, side of the street on both sides there. So these photos are just a few weeks ago, um, finishing up everything on that side. And here's the other side again, just showing the parking garage and you can see how everything on the outside is all glass, letting all of that beautiful sunshine just come on in and just keep our days bright um, and keep things um, lively. Here is just another view of all of our logos up. They are all illuminated, all electricity is on to everything. So you drive by in the evening and um, you can see all of it. Here's what our entrance on the first floor looks like. These are just showing some of our welcome desks as you walk in uh, and know that they will be completely staffed and people to way help wayfind and get you to your locations on the right elevators, on the right floors. You can really see how high each of these ceilings are and they're just beautiful welcoming spaces and uh, very different than today's feel. Um, and just so I'll the lovingly um, give kudos to Dr. Arthur who planned this building probably decades ago over a napkin and a cup of coffee, but the technology that's going into this building, I think is paramount to know that we have the most up-to-date, the most um, readily available equipment for our PET CT and MRIs. And this magnet was hoisted in from the side of the building to put it in. All the magnets are live. Everything has been tested and verified um, so that we are ready to go and treat these patients. But the newest technology that we have um, doesn't exist between here and in Florida. So we do have the most state-of-the-art equipment focused on the cancer patients, um, ensuring that they have the best technology, the best information um, for those patients. Um, and you can see on here on the fifth floor is our infusion. So our medical oncology, our chemotherapy, you can see that they're divided into kind of um, four um, kind of four bays in each area. Again, just thinking about that lightness and that brightness, well, yet giving people um, privacy that they um, so would like during their treatments. Um, and also ensuring that the nurses stations, the nursing um, work areas are right there with the patient. Um, so they're not at a distance. And so if anything, um, patient needs anything, there are some nurse providers, um, nurse practitioners, advanced providers, they are at all times for our patients. And again, just an example of our radi radiology, um, you can see this new technology. Every one of our MRIs are a 3D 
um, mammography and every one of the spaces. Um, so we are very happy to have, again, the, the newest technologies for all of these patients. And just the typical exam room floor that you'll be seeing, this is the work rooms, the physicians and teams and social workers will be working together and the lovely hallways, everything is in kind of rows together, of exam rooms so that everyone is teamed together appropriately and everyone knows how to easily function um, in those spaces. And you can see um, kind of the, the rooms of how they look. This is our audiology booth as well. Um, and I'll just skip down. And biggest things that I can say that we're getting ready for is the move. Um, so we will actually start our move on November, uh, December 4th to be in by the end of the day. Um, and then we will open our doors on December 6th. And I would say just one more beautiful picture of what it's going to look like um, when it's all finished. And then we have streets and people coming together um, and seeing everyone for the first time in just a few weeks. We are also implementing a new electronic medical record system called EPIC on the same day that we move in. Again, this just allows us to be you know, the most connected to other health systems. This allows us to really have the highest quality of healthcare systems and the highest uh, delivery of healthcare systems and allows the communication between patients and caregivers um, to be more seamless and to be more integrated, allows for better communication between pharmacy, primary care providers, other health systems around the United States as it relates to oncology care. Um, uh, for patients that may be receiving second opinions or maybe doing treatment at a different location and receiving records and or receiving records, it really does put us um, into 2022 um, where we ought to be for, for our patients in this community. Um, but I think that going into this building know that we have really focused on our patients. And additionally, we have our new integrative health um, space on our first floor, um, which is this amazing wide open space for resources and information, as well as our, our, our wig salon that is going to be on the fifth floor, which is a beautiful wide open space next to our family lounge. Just really thinking about making sure that we are addressing the patients from mind, body, and soul. We also, you know, have um, various um, family resource rooms and spaces to, to keep um, having conversations. Um, also, we have a space for our clinical trials or clinical research staff, just ensuring that we are constantly having communications with our patients and talking about clinical research and the importance of it and making sure that we're really collaborating um, from our team at the bench to our team and um, seeing patients in the clinic side. Um, but we really look forward to this space and just the countdown is on 25 days from now and going live. And I think that everyone will truly see it is just new and fresh and beautiful and bright. And I'm incredibly excited. I get to see this space every day. And I truly believe this is what is going to be an amazing milestone in VCU Massey Cancer Center. And then I, yeah, I look forward to seeing everyone here. Um, bright, cheery faces as we open the building. Love to see everyone stop by. Um, we look forward to having some things come in December as the holiday season approaches. And then when we are finally able to maybe have a, a larger gathering. Um, but until then, and when we open, I, I absolutely invite you all to come see the space, take a tour um, and, and give us your feedback because we really do believe that um, this is really going to take us into the future of uh, advanced cancer care. Thank you so much, Katie. Uh, what an exciting and wonderful time for Massey Cancer Center. So for those of you who are familiar with downtown Richmond, um, this building, this beautiful building, which is hard to miss, but it's located on Lee Street between 10th and 11th Streets, as Katie said, it takes up an entire city block. We will be happy to see you when we open the doors on Monday, December the 6th. We'll be ready for business. So thank you so much. We appreciate you being here with us and talking about our new facility. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.